Hey everybody, it's Aaron Danton from the Front Porch Pulpit. Um, so, I was uh, earlier putting together a sermon I was going to point out, um, you know, because uh, in the previous video I mentioned Cain and Abel, and, uh, you know, of course, you know, Eve wouldn't want to condemn either one of her sons, um, so, uh, I was like, so where does this divide happen, you know, where uh, there's the dark, because I also mentioned Lilith, and I mentioned, uh, you know, uh, there's Jezebel, and so I started looking deeper into uh, the connections with John and, you know, Elijah. Jesus says that John is the risen Elijah, you know, and he was born again, obviously, um, in that day, and... Uh, Although, you know, in 2 Timothy, it says the resurrection hasn't happened yet, right around 2 Timothy 15. So that would mean that the, um, the actual, like, resurrection of the last days, you know, the, the faithful saints and the martyrs of the Word of God and Jesus um, hasn't happened yet, you know, with the, the reign, uh, you know, millennial reign, thousand-year reign on uh, the earth with Christ. Um, so... Um, I was like, you know, uh, putting it all together, and I, I got about four or five sermons out of the whole thing. So I was like, well, this is going to take a little bit more than one video. Um, so um, one of the things I realized a long time ago, and I, I'm not sure if a lot of people uh, realize that Revelation is in layers, and the layers of, of uh, things that are happening all at once, basically, um, and that, you know, the throne that's being spoke of isn't in the old heaven it's in the new heaven um so these are all things that i've i've contemplated over the last few years as i've gone through all this and i get on you know uh youtube a lot uh and i used to get on facebook a lot I used to have like 2000 followers on facebook but something uh pushed me away from that well it was when i got a 3 day suspension um i was having conversation going back and forth with somebody in one of the comment sections um it was a muslim christian debate and i called satan a coward um and i got banned for bullying uh <laughs> i was like bullying who satan I'm, I'm bullying satan for calling satan a coward uh because they're i guess you know face a lot of the mark zuckerberg thinks you know satan's a tough guy or something you know and uh, I, I don't know for sure, but so I kind of strayed away from uh, Facebook. Um, but uh, oh, you know I appreciate you guys. Uh, so I was gonna go ahead today and start linking my PayPal again um, in the descriptions, and um, I don't know. I, th I think I might get a Cash App going. Um, still working on that website. Here's the. I mean, I got I bought <clears throat> Bibles to give away. And I may just go out in the neighborhood, but this little area that I live in, um, and they're, they're just cheap Bibles from the dollar store, but they are King James Version, you know, and they're, they're, some of them are different, pretty cool. I mean, I like them. I thought they were neat, you know, and you can just go to Dollar Tree and get them yourself, you know, they're only a dollar. Uh, but these ones are blessed by me, like, they're special, right? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, of course. Uh, but, um... And I got my old Battle Bible, I call that one Battle Bible. But yeah, I'll put the PayPal link in there. I'm going to start probably doing a series on the layers of Revelation and how the sequence of events actually unfolds because John is taking the same timelines and showing from different perspectives, different uh, views of what's happening. And the only way he could ever describe it is in, in the, the sequence that it happens. But they, they layer, um, so there's like simultaneous, things that happen simultaneously in the books of Revelation. And uh, there's a break that happens. Uh, you saw that, right? Oh, it's in the video. Anyways, there's a break that happens um, in there, um, in the millennial reign, uh, between like Satan being... Uh, bound in the bottomless pit and then the final days you know Gog and Magog coming to make battle against 
the, the saints in their camp, or they surround the camp, and then fire comes down out of heaven, consumes everything, and uh, that's, I mean, that's basically, that's what I saw, but, uh, so, uh, I'll put that, I'm going to be putting that together, and then Lilith, um, I call it, I guess, a lot of people say there's a dark Mary, I call, it's, it's, I don't call her Mary, uh, because Mary in the Bible means woman of God, and so the dark Mary wouldn't be a woman of God, unless, of course, you know, um, she has her purpose, uh, ordained by God, and, uh, which Isaiah is actually, I mean, a lot of people don't realize it, like, Isaiah is pretty much ordained to be the false prophet, um, it's, happens in Isaiah 6, a lot of people skip over that part, um, <clears throat> and so, uh, the, basically, I was, you know, looking into, um, you know, the daughters of Zion, um, and how they're led astray, and how she's left in a cottage, you know, in the, in the vineyard, and basically, um, the, um, hang on, um, so then, I'm back, uh, so I, I looked into, um, Jezebel, Ahab, and, uh, basically f found where in, uh, uh, I forget who it was, I think I wrote it down, um, basically the Ahab sees a vineyard that he really likes, and it's a parable, um, you know, obviously, um, so Ahab wants to go after the vineyard, and Jezebel, uh, makes up lies that gets the, um, the owner of the vineyard, um, it's Naboth's, Naboth's, uh, vineyard. Um, basically, she, um, uh, makes up a bunch of lies, uh, gets him stoned. Ahab's free to just take it without buying it, even though Naboth didn't want to sell, uh, his vineyard to anybody. You know, it's equated to the, the man, uh, finds a pearl in the uh, field and then buys the whole field you know what I mean kind of a deal uh, so basically Ahab stole the man's vineyard and there's a whole bunch of parables of the vineyard um, so Jezebel uh, and so basically Elijah prophesies against Jezebel um, and I'll expand I'm gonna 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 go in depth in all these things I think um, and so um, she, Elijah prophesies against her, her Jezebel and that she'll be thrown down outside of her, the wall of her uh, kingdom and eaten by the dogs. And it's Jehu, you know, the wild man. He comes wild, you know, comes in all uh, crazy and uh, defeats Ahab and her. And she's thrown down by the... Uh, outside of the wall and eaten alive or uh, I think she was dead but eaten by the dogs and then um, and that ties together with John the Baptist being the uh, resurrected risen Elijah uh, in Matthew 17 it goes over that and so um, and then he's beheaded Herodias the daughter of Herod uh, the daughter of a woman uh, dances for Herod who is basically Herod is the one who um, um, set out to have all the children under two years of age um, it's his lineage basically uh, that set out to have all the children two years of age uh, killed uh, that were the boys uh, to try to kill Jesus the, um, and it just didn't work out. Obviously, they missed him because uh, Mary is privy to the fact that she's carrying the Son of God. And so um, they head out to um, Egypt, right? 
and Jezebel, or I'm sorry, the spirit of Jezebel was in the daughter of Herodias, and they, they both, they, they call them both Herodias, uh, was in Herodias and was also in the daughter of Herodias. I have to read it through, but uh, asked her mother, what do you want? You know, I'm dancing for Herod, and she says, give me the head of John the Baptist, and has him uh, beheaded. <clears throat> um, and up until, the, you know, he was, uh, all the prophets prophesied, you know, in John's. So, uh, yep. I'm uh, going to tie all that together. Um, and then also Lilith. And maybe I'll, I'll go back to, um, you know, uh, why evangelism is a thing. Uh, a lot of people don't. I, I break down words a lot. Um, I know somebody else who does. Uh, his name is Wayne. Uh, but uh, ev evangelism is basically Eve Angelism, you know, the act of preaching through the Eve Angel. Um, and so, but she had two sons. Uh, she had uh, Cain and Abel. Abel, who, who righteously fed the, you know, the the side of the Lord that wanted to be fed uh, was commended for what he had done and the uh, and Cain who was a tiller of the ground it was looked down upon because he just didn't bring good enough vegetables uh, I don't think there was a vegetable in the garden that would have satisfied the evil side of the, that Lord um, and so uh, when he slew Abel uh, that that sure did satisfy him. I'm sure of it. Anyways, uh, but the blood cried out from the ground, from the mother earth, right? So, and she's even given a spirit in uh, Revelation 12. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, but I guess we're going to be getting into uh, the feminine spirits, the feminine side of things. Uh, I think I've pretty much rooted out the uh, Lord of the Garden of Eden as being the father of the liar and deceiver serpent. Um, you can't create something evil unless you have evil in you. So, um, but yeah, uh, we're going to get to the root of this Jezebel spirit that uh, was able to entice Herod into killing John the Baptist, even against his own uh, good good thoughts, and pretty much uh, sealed her fate in that she was going to be um, an interloper from then on uh, hence she rides the beast uh, I say that when you're feeding the evil side of the Lord God of the Garden of Eden that created the tree of good and evil and the serpent the serpent's father um, you're feeding the beast you know what I'm saying so anyways um, and yeah so I was going to go ahead and uh, and today I got a little affirmation from jesus you know once you plant the seed that you need to somebody may need to dig deeper it happened yesterday last night as well i keep going back to uh other people's live chats that i've talked to before and you know i'm like are we family yet are we family yet are we family yet you know because <laughs> i'm like do you still hate me do you still hate me and please tell me you don't hate me anymore and then jesus is like dude just chill out man uh you plant the seed, you back away, you let me do my thing. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm like, yeah, I get it. You know, and so patience. He's teaching me patience. I'm like, you know, I guess, it, you know, uh, when when a, the ship is the size of the Titanic, uh, it takes a while to turn it. But, uh, you know, hopefully we can turn it before it hits the iceberg kind of a thing, you know. Uh, it's not like... Uh, I, I, you know, had anything to do with anybody's fall. I'm, I'm here now. This is Aaron, you know, who I am. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't lead people astray. I try to lead people back to God, the Father and Creator in heaven of all things good from the beginning, and Jesus Christ. And uh, the, so that was part of uh, some clarity I did get was about uh, Jesus Christ. You know, he needs um, his, his man on the ground kind of a thing, and the Word of God is that for him. Um, and that's why, uh, he's called, you know, uh, there's the second comforter, there's the, 
Um, you know, the word of God, he who comes after me is greater than me. Um, and so, and because he's from the beginning, there's an alpha and omega. Uh, and it, he's one with Jesus, obviously, but separated unto God as Jesus was, you know, uh, God's only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Um, so, uh, just as the the accuser of the brethren has who he has that accuses you to God, right? Uh, you have Jesus, the wonderful counselor, your uh, defender, your intercessor. Uh, and he has people, you know, who goes out and collects stuff to, to accuse you with. The accuser does. Uh, Jesus has people who go out and collect stuff to bring to your defense. Um, and so, and Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is above all there is none above him he is in god the father and father god the father is in him they are one um so uh which is pretty cool your your defense team is is uh pretty adept at defending you and they will defend you to the end as long as you don't deny them they won't deny you um just like you know you could go to court and you can say i i don't want that uh defense attorney you know that court appointed attorney I want this court appointed attorney but uh, the chances of whatever attorney you choose that isn't Jesus Christ winning in God's court is slim to none uh, the the accuser of the brethren and Satan they are good at what they do they know exactly how to turn you from uh, uh, accepting your defense and get you to walk away from him and so uh, they not exactly not all of us obviously some of us stick with Jesus right to the end otherwise there wouldn't be the faithful the saints and the martyrs of the word and Jesus Christ of Jesus in the millennial reign for a thousand years with Christ uh, that wouldn't be a thing and it is a thing so that's good news right <laughs> good news uh, so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna put PayPal and I'm gonna look into doing some cash app stuff I'm still working on my website I've been kind of slacking on that, really focused in on, uh, you know, putting steel against steel because, you know, sharpening uh, some that I know. And today I, I definitely uh, caught wind of something that uh, kind of set me back a little bit. But I'm like, you know, I, I can defend on that. Uh, somebody was saying that Satan can't be divided against himself. And that's a, that's a bull-faced lie from the enemy. Uh, he pretends to be an angel of light. That's covered in Second Th Thessalonians, or I'll have to look it up, but uh, where is it at? If I had my other phone, I'd just go through my Bible and find it. But, um, yeah, it's Second Th Thessalonians 2, right? Uh, and I, I, I'm not saying Isaiah, Isaiah, you know, he has his, it is, he is who he is. He does what he does, and uh, he only does what he does to get you to turn to God unless you you know he's saying you know until they seek the truth and as soon as they seek somebody seeks the truth he turns away but if somebody keeps coming at you they're not working within what God wants them to work within uh, so let's see I'm gonna push pause and see okay so Satan can be divided against himself. He's a he's a liar, and he pretends to be an angel of light, which is pretends to be Jesus Christ. I, I say that all the time. Uh, Satan and the Antichrist. One is always pretending to be God, and the other one's always pretending to be Jesus. That's how they work against you. Uh, you would never um, inadvertently follow Satan. You or knowingly follow Satan. Nobody does follow Satan purposefully unless they are seeking their earthly rewards and they're making covenants with Satan which all works against him in the end anyways but still the good Christian the one who's in church trying to be good uh, doesn't purposefully go try to follow Satan he has to lead them astray somehow at first and so um, you know just slightly twisting doctrine to get them off the path or looking away from Jesus Christ in some sort of way and looking at them um, so, uh, the good Christian 
uh, doesn't try to follow Satan or doesn't try to follow the Antichrist, doesn't try to be deceived, but he he is the deceiver. That's the whole point of who he is. That's what he does. Um, so here it is. In uh, it's actually Second Corinthians eleven, um, verse. 11 is where I'll start. <clears throat> Wherefore, because I love you not, God knoweth. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Let's go to verse 9. Uh, verse 9, 2 Corinthians uh, 11, 9. And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to no man. For that which was lacking to me, the brethren which came from Mas Macedonia uh, supplied and in all things I have kept myself from being burdensome unto you so will I keep myself so uh, he tries not to burden the people he's helping um, as the truth of Christ is in me no man shall stop me from boasting in the regions of Achaia wherefore because I love you not love you not God knoweth but what I do that I will do that I may be cut off occasion from them which desire occasion that were in the glory that glory they may be found even as we for such are the apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light so he he can be divided now the kingdom of God cannot be divided um because you know um jesus said that you know um, a house divided will not stand in the kingdom of god so you can't get into the kingdom of god if you've even got a one percent of satan in you at all so um therefore the verse 15 therefore it is no great thing in this in his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works they're going to be judged by their works um, because they aren't of the new covenant. They aren't of, you know, of Jesus Christ. They're of the old covenant, the accuser and the Satan and Satan. And they, they transform themselves to seem as angels of light to draw you away from Jesus Christ. Um, and that's, that's how they work. Um, Jesus said, you know, if I cast out, uh, uh, Beelzebub, the kingdom of God, has come to you, meaning that he has, there is no authority above him besides God. He has, and uh, the only way that you get there is to have already dealt with all those demons and kicked them all out. You can't cast out, if you still harbor, if you've put um, any other Lord above you or above Jesus, you still harbor that Lord and he has authority over you um, and you can't cast him out of somebody. So if you have inadvertently uh, exalted Beelzebub above you, you can't cast because he has authority over you, him out of somebody else. And it's part of what I've been getting at with Matthew 17. So this one only comes out, you know, by fasting and prayer um so uh yeah uh so he you know jesus was saying basically i can't cast Be beelzebub out of somebody if beelzebub is in me so he's that's the blasphemy of the holy spirit is when somebody's saying that um you are from Satan or from Beelzebub when you're not. Um, and if they continue to knowingly uh, condemn you, uh, they're blaspheming against the Holy Spirit himself because uh, you have authority. You've taken your authority. You are born again. Uh, you are seated in heavenly places uh, with Jesus Christ in his Father's throne. You have all authority to cast out all demons all of them. There is none that have authority over you. And you realize this uh, in Matthew 4. Uh, when Jesus was like, get behind me, Satan. 
you have no authority over me. This is my, God created all this and he's leaving it all to me. Uh, you have no right to any of it. It's all mine. Uh, get behind me. You know what I mean? There's, uh, he has no authority to give to him what is his already. And Jesus knew that this, all of it was his. And so like, I'll tell, I'll tell people, oh, you know, Satan doesn't even have authority over the airwaves anymore. He has no authority, none, zero, not over this earth. And none, the Antichrist doesn't have any authority over this earth. And I think I've shown you, uh, you know, pretty clearly um, in Psalms 83, who did have authority over this earth, who still thinks he has authority over this earth. And he acts in, uh, from the old heaven and he even still gives his prophets revelation false revelation from the old heaven and they think they're getting true revelation even though it's false and they work against uh, Jesus Christ and they work against God and God's anointed from heaven and uh, it it can be sad at times and that's it's what has kept me on this you know chopping at the the root of that tree uh, and it Although I already know, you know, the seed and where it's from, I, I keep, I'd rather just take the seed out of the equation, but a lot of people keep putting the seed back into the equation, right? Otherwise, uh, people would get it. Uh, so, <clears throat> all right, you guys, I'm going to put a link to that PayPal. If you, uh, I just wanted to say, you know, uh, a prayer over everybody and uh, bless everybody. And uh, I usually don't... Um, I'm just going to always have it there. I won't be saying much about it. Uh, but if you feel like you're compelled to, to give to the ministry to help me grow it, then great. I mean, I, I live meager right now, but I have a good feeling things, the balances are tilting toward good. Uh, at least, at the very least, I'm pretty sure that when where it used to be on the floor, it's lifted from the floor. You know what I mean? It's, it may not be the clink yet, but... It's not on the floor anymore. It used to just be to the floor, and we kept adding over here to the good, right? And 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 just just doing away with the evil. And it may it's lifting off the floor, I believe. Um, the other day, I just saw a thing uh, about Joe Biden. Somebody said, uh, uh, "The have you heard about the rift in the Catholic Church that they won't endorse you?" And they were talking directly to Joe Joe Biden. Uh, they won't endorse you. To take communion with them as long as you support abortion well it's a, it's a little uh the catholic church you know but at the same time the catholic church is trying to make is trying to make friends with uh, islam and and uh you know it's like uh, <laughs> you can put lipstick on a pig but it's always it's still a pig you know what i'm saying um so not saying <laughs> Not calling them swine, by the way. I'm <laughs> saying that uh, they, they are, there's a reformation that may need to happen, and uh, it may take some time. I mean, you, you can't just dismantle the whole thing, and, and, and everybody's just going to be happy. Uh, it's just, it just doesn't work that way. Although, uh, when, when Final Judgment Day does come, it happens in an hour, which is... Again, I think I did the math on that. 42 years, an hour. You know, if, if one day in heaven is a thousand years on earth, so 42 years. Maybe some happened, started happening around the 70s or something. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, so, uh, I'm not, obviously, not God. So I don't know all things, right? <laughs> and I'm not Jesus. Uh, I'm just Aaron. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... May God and Jesus Christ bless. Uh, may everybody, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that everybody come to the repentance and uh, turn to Jesus Christ. Let him be your wonderful counselor, right? Let him be your defense attorney, your intercessor. Let the word of God into your heart and, and your team work diligently to keep you uh, in God's graces. And uh, rebuke the accuser and his son, the serpent. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.